Hey guys, we're here with Itty Bitty Bakers. We hope you all are well. I've got two of my favorite bakers with me here today, and we're gonna show you how to make resurrection rolls. Uh, they're a great Easter treat. We make them every year on Easter morning, and um, it just takes a couple of ingredients and very few little equipment, so um, it should be pretty good to do it. Um, you start with some canned crescent rolls, some marshmallows, um, a couple tablespoons of melted butter and some cinnamon and sugar mixed together. That's about like two tablespoons of each. Um, and the cool thing about this recipe is it's a great way to tell the Easter story um, and involve your kids. So the first thing you're going to do is um, just use a fork um, and we've all washed our hands, uh, but you use a fork and you stick a marshmallow and uh, for this recipe, the marshmallow represents um, Jesus' body. And then you're going to dip it in butter, which represents the, um, the oil that um, was placed on his body. And then you're going to dip it in the cinnamon sugar, and that represents um, the spices that were placed on his body. The cool, I like this recipe because it's a, a cool way to tell a story. Um, and then the crescent roll is going to represent the burial cloth. So we've already laid out our crescent rolls and we um, patted them out a little bit. But you're just gonna wrap it um, kind of a little differently from the way you would do a traditional crescent roll. Because you wanna make sure the marshmallow is completely surrounded by the dough. You don't want any of it to leak out while it's baking. So see how that, and you kind of have to press the dough and just check all of them. Girls, if y'all want to get started, you can go ahead and start dipping yours. And then, um, so it kind of looks like a little boulder when you get it done. And we're going to place it on a cookie sheet about an inch apart. And then when you get all of it, um, Um, once you get um, all of the rolls made, you're going to put it in the oven um, at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Um, but you can always check it based on your oven time. It might be a little more or a little less. Alright, so our rolls have been baking in the oven um, for about 10 minutes. And as part of the story, we also say that the oven is like the tomb. So we're going to take them out. They look really good. Um, and if some of the marshmallow leaks out, uh, that's okay. Sometimes it leaves a little um, sugary glaze on the pan, but that's okay. Um, so they look really good. Um, so girls, do y'all want to come over here and try one? Um, so um, these taste like a cinnamon roll. I'll show you guys why they're called resurrection rolls. So we know that our marshmallow went in the center, and that was Jesus' body. And, um, we're going to cut it open and see what, what it looks like. What do y'all see, girls? Is there any white? No marshmallow. Um, no marshmallow. It's empty. So it's a Again, these resurrection rolls are a great way um, to tell the Easter story with your kids. We hope y'all um, enjoy it and are able to make it at some point this weekend. And we can't wait to see you guys back in classes very soon. We miss you and we hope, we hope you're well. Thank y'all so much.